In this video, I'm going to talk about my Stanley food thermos that I used on my Greenland expedition with Dr. Terry Williams. The Stanley food thermos has gone with me to Antarctica, to Greenland, once on Denali. This thing is super, super helpful. So when I've got my freeze dried food, the question is, do I use it in the bag or do I put it in the thermos? And I found that over 30 day expeditions, the weight differential of the food thermos versus the weight differential, the packaging of the freeze dried food balances out pretty well. So the food thermos is super handy for, handy for a couple of reasons. One, when I'm just using these food bags and I tear it open and I pour the water in, invariably, I don't know what's going on with Mountain House and other manufacturers, but a lot of times I've had these zip lock fail where I zip it up, I pull it apart and the zip lock literally tears from the foil packaging, which means this can't be sealed and I almost dump food more than once all over my sleeping bag. So that's been really entertaining. So that's the reason why I brought my Stanley food thermos. Now, I'm not sponsored by Stanley. They do not know me. I only know them because I bought their products. These things are heavy. Well, how heavy? Let me fire up the scale and I'll show you. One moment, Alrighty. Okay, the Stanley food thermos weighs one pound and three ounces or 538 grams. So they are pretty heavy. However, compared to the food bag for freeze dried food, this keeps my food warm a long, long time. Huge advantage too, it has threads that I can close the container with. Let me put some light there so you can see what's going on. And also a lid, an insulated lid, so I can put all my food in there, seal it up, and if it falls over, no big deal, no food spilled compared to freeze dry bags, which, uh, man, you gotta be really, really careful with these things. This does come with the flip lid and this tiny little spork spoon thing, which, all right, uh, this, this is pretty, I mean, at least it comes with something, but to dig around in this food thermos, let me show you. Okay, here's the food thermos, here's this little spoon. It literally does reach, so you can see it reaches the bottom, but barely, and eh, it's okay. So I brought my regular old REI titanium spork. That was way, way better. But the ability to put my food in here, put it in there, pour the water, stir it, and close this bad boy up, toss it in the sleeping bag still to keep the food warm, let me tell you, this weight is a lot of weight. I would not use this on a regular backpacking trip like ever. Even when I skied or uh, crossed the Greenland tundra, this is way too much weight. But for a 30 plus day expedition, a food thermos was super, super handy. Dr. Terry Williams and I both used them on our trip and featured in Two Friends and a Polar Bear. So check out links below. The food thermos is great for a long, long trip because it keeps the food warm longer, it prevents spilling, it's super, super handy, and it's way tougher and less, well, it's actually basically failure prone compared to the Ziplocs that fail on these things. Plus, if this falls over, I spill my food all over the place. If this falls over, well, it's just falling over, no big deal. So check out links in the description to aaronlinstew.com slash Greenland, where you can learn about all the expedition gear I took to Greenland, including the sleds, backpacks, everything. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more info on foot thermoses.